I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write quadratic equation from three given points. A parabola has y intercept of minus 4 and passes through the points minus 2, 8 and 1, minus 1. Determine the equation of parabola. So basically we are given three points on the parabola. The points for us are y intercept, let me call that as point A which is y intercept means x is 0, right? So x is 0, y value is minus 4. Right? The second point, let me call that as b, as minus 2, 8, and the third point c as 1, minus 1. General form of parabola or quadratic equation will be y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Now we have a quadratic equation y equals to ax square plus bx plus c with three unknowns. To find the value of these three unknowns, we need three points. a, b and c are the three points. Let's begin with the y-intercept. In this equation, you know c is the y-intercept. But let us see how. When I substitute 0 and minus 4, 0 for x and minus 4 for y, I get minus 4 equals to a times 0 plus b times 0 plus c. And clearly, we get minus 4 equals to c. So that c is indeed a y-intercept, right? So now, let me rewrite this equation with c value as minus 4. So y equals to ax square plus bx minus 4 is our equation. We have already found one of the unknowns from the point A, which was 0 minus 4, the y-intercept. Now, we can use point B, write down one equation, point C will give us another equation, right? So, using B, we get B is minus 2, 8. So, basically, we will substitute 8 for Y, so we get 8 minus 2 for X, minus 2 square, let me write this as A times minus 2 square plus B times minus 2 minus 4. 4. And we can simplify this a bit. Bringing 4 to the left side, we get 8 plus 4 equals to 4a minus 2 squared is 4 minus 2b, right? Now that is 12 equals to 4a minus 2b. Now we can divide by 2. So we get 6 equals to 2a minus b. So let us call this equation as equation number 2 for us. We have this as equation number 1, right? Now we have one equation in terms of a and b. Let us find out another equation using point c. So point c is 1 minus 1. So when I substitute 1 minus 1 in our equation, uh, which is with c as minus 4, this equation, right? So, so we have y as minus 1. So we have minus 1 equals to a times x is 1, 1 square plus b times 1 uh, minus 4. Bringing minus 4 to the left, we have minus 1 minus plus 4 equals to a plus b, right? Or a plus b equals to plus 3. So let us call this as equation number 3. From equation number 1 and 2, we can actually solve the values of a and b. So if I add equation 2 and equation 3, what do I get? 3 plus 6 is 9, so we get 9 equals 2. 2a plus a is 3a, plus b minus b is 0. So we get 3a equals to 9, or a equals to 9 over 3, that is 3. So we get a equals to 3. So we have the value of another unknown, a equals to 3. Earlier we calculated c as minus 4. Now let us find the value of b. We could use any one of our equations. Let us use substitute the value of a, which we found here. Let's call this equation 4. So we'll sub 4 in 3, right? So, and find b. So we have a as 3. So we'll have 3 equals to 3 plus b. So that is to say 3 minus 3 equals to b or b equals to 0, right? So b equals to 0. So we know all the three unknowns, a, b, and c. a is equals to 3, b is equals to 0, and c is equals to minus 4. 
So that gives us our equation as y equals to, so a is 3, so we'll write 3x square, b is 0, so that is 0, and c is minus 4, minus 4. So y equals to 3x square minus 4 becomes the equation which will have those given three points on its graph, right? So these are the steps which we can follow to find equation of a quadratic function when three points are given. Remember, you will need three different equations to solve for the three unknowns. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.